I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and it's time to find out what's going around. This week, we want to talk about a creature that gets more blame for issues than it actually causes. Those are spiders. In the emergency department, we are constantly seeing skin lesions and abscesses that are being blamed on spider bites. In actuality, almost none of them are actually spider bites. Abscesses are skin and tissue infections from bacteria that get into the skin from the hair follicles, cuts, scrapes, and abrasions. These are often bacteria from our own skin. As for spiders, there are only really three in the U.S. that cause any significant risk. Black widows are one of the most recognizable and contain a latrotoxin that causes flu-like syndromes in most people but have a very low risk of complications and deaths in very small children. These spiders just don't have enough toxin to significantly harm adults or larger people. They are designed to kill small insects and animals. The one most concerning to medical folks is the brown recluse or fiddleback spider. This spider has a necrotizing toxin that kills surrounding tissue which can lead to the need for grafting or amputation. This tends to be very localized but can cause real issues when involving the hands or feet. To ease your fear, there have been no confirmed deaths from spiders in the U.S. in at least the last decade. In my experience, actual spider bites are seen by the person and often outdoors or around farm environments. In most cases, treatment is wound care and symptomatic management. In very rare occasions, medical evaluation is indicated. For the most part, these arachnids are more fear than fact. You can join the conversation at the What's Going Around Facebook page and at Everyday Med on Twitter. I'm Dr. Ryan Stanton, and that's What's Going Around.